being immersed in anything is to me pretty powerful. A studio life is just that. Studio life, if you're lucky, is an immersion of really dealing with making. The first half of my making life, I was a sole practitioner. And the last half of my studio life has been more of a team that supports a lot of the things that I do. And also that my inventor side is also sort of scrambled up like eggs with my art in the sense that to design a tool or to make art is to me the same thing. There's no difference between them. I would hear him downstairs in the studio like hammering and sawing and essentially recreating whatever it was he bought to use as a tool and making it his own tool. And so that really was the birth of Mud Tools. A lot of my tools follow what my work is about to a certain degree. I've done a lot of carving, so therefore I make carving knives and I make paddles. There's also an attempt to make tools that are very universal. An extruder is nothing but a large Play-Doh factory for people who want to work in clay. I tried all the ways other people were making dyes and they weren't sufficient enough. They just didn't work very well for me. So I started thinking about it and as a result I refined those dyes and made them so they functioned better. Then that extruder die became a more important tool to my studio because I saw that not just could it make teapot handles and spouts, it could make sculpture. And it became a sculptural tool for anything that was smaller or elongated. It's one of those things I think people are surprised about what they can do with it and what the benefits are working with it. My tools are used in ways that I never imagined them to be used, and I'm very thankful for that. 